Well, in a few hours, Star Trek's Captain Kirk will be making history as the oldest person to ever blast off into space. We got our Storm Trekker 9 meteorologist Brendan Menchev, who's also a Trekkie. He's live over in Van Horn near the site. Brendan, I know you're not going to get beamed up, but still, what an exciting time right now. Yeah, I may not be getting beamed up, but it certainly is an exciting time out here in Van Horn. Good morning, Jelena. Uh, but it, hey, if it's exciting for me, you know that it's exciting for William Shatner and the other three astronauts going up into space in just a few hours here. You'll see that here on News West 9. Don't turn the channel. Uh, that'll be at 9 o'clock this morning. But let me take you through the timeline a little bit of what this morning looks like leading up to the launch. So at about T minus seven and a half hours. So that was uh, this already happened. This was in the overnight hours. The rocket began rolling out to the launch pad. So from the Blue Origin barn, that's what they call it, out to the launch pad itself. So T minus three hours, that's where we're at right about now. They're beginning to fuel the new Shepard rocket that will carry the astronauts into space on their roughly 10 minute flight. At 45 minutes before launch, the astronauts will leave the building and start driving out to the rocket. And at T minus 24 minutes, they will begin boarding. Or sorry, T minus 35 minutes, they'll begin boarding that rocket. And by the time we get to 24 minutes from launch, they're going to close that catch door and they will be rocketing into space 24 minutes after that. So very exciting stuff. And I'll have a little bit more info for you coming up later in the show. Back to you. He and uh, Mr. Spock were the ones that got me interested in space and science fiction and, and everything else. So uh, from junior high age up to now where William Shatner is actually in our town fixing to go up uh, into space, you know, it, it's kind of like the whole circle now for me. Well, Van Horn leaders are super excited this morning. Not only is this flight historic, but scientists say it could actually give them a clearer picture of how space travel affects older people.